everybody. This is Money Mom. Welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about what my parents' grocery bill was back in the late 1970s to 80s. Let's get started. And you're going to be really surprised by this. And then I wanted to talk to you guys about why their grocery budget was like this. My dad told my mom to keep the grocery budget at about a hundred dollars a week. Now I don't remember cleaning supplies being on there. I thought that we got them somewhere else but I don't actually remember. I think this was primarily food and it was for a family of four and my sister is a couple years younger than me and I think late 70s, 80s, we were teenagers in that time period. So I grew up in Woodbury, Minnesota which is a suburb of St. Paul. And I wanted to tell you why I think our grocery budget was higher. I thought this might be interesting to some of you. Number one, and tell me if any of you who live in the Twin Cities have heard of this grocery store. We shopped at Byerly's. That's where we shopped. And Byerly's, back then, I don't know if it still is, was a higher end type store. It had carpet. And instead of bagging your own groceries, what they would do is they would bag them and then they would give you like a card and then you would go through this drive through and they would put the bags of groceries in the back of your car so you didn't have to lug around the groceries. And so it was kind of nice. I have to say the customer service there was wonderful. I loved Byerly's. It also had a restaurant near it. It was a wonderful place to grocery shop. Now, of course, I didn't pay attention to all the prices back then, but I do think they were more expensive than a place like, say, Cub Foods, where you bagged your own groceries. But we tried shopping in a place like that, and my mom just really enjoyed the shopping experience at Byerly's. I do have to say, where you grocery shop can make a difference in your grocery budget, at least from my experience. Okay, number two, my mother was extremely brand loyal. She did not buy generic type products and she said she would notice a difference. My mother was an excellent cook and baker and everything she made tasted wonderful. But she had specific products that she would want to use while she was cooking and baking. And so she did not want to use generic type products and she felt like there was a difference. She tried them and so it did cost more buying name brand. And there weren't as many generics back then either. Number three, and this is one of the biggies, we bought good quality meat. You know, for example, she would buy 93% or, you know, she didn't buy inexpensive, say, ground beef. Um, so we bought higher quality ends of meat, which can also add to the grocery budget. Number four, we have a huge family, not, you know, just in our home, but my there were nine kids in my dad's family, eight of my mom's, and we had a lot of family and friends. We entertained a lot. So we had people over quite often, and so that can add to the grocery budget as well. Number five, the bottom line is, they, and in some ways I think this is good, they bought what they liked. Many times people buy with their, you know, just thing, items just to save money, but then they may not end up liking or it may not get eaten. My mom knew what everybody liked, and she bought what was liked. And so that was, that could end up costing you more because some of those items may cost more. Number six, we did sometimes end up making trips throughout the week. Uh, it wasn't just, we. she went on Fridays, but she made sometimes trips throughout the week where she would ask my dad, hey, can you stop home, you know, to pick up these three things at the store? So sometimes the grocery budget could even be more than 100. And also the last but not least, uh, she didn't add things up while she was going throughout the store and it may be a surprise when she gets to the register. She was kind of like praying, oh God, hopefully it's not too much, you know, and that would happen. Now, even though we did have a larger grocery budget, the positive thing is this. Our family did have very little food waste and the reason why is because my mom was very, she bought what we, we all liked and what we were going to use and she would try not to make too much. That way we didn't have leftovers and a bunch of food we weren't going to eat where we had to throw out a bunch of food. Now we did occasionally waste some food, but I don't remember there being an exorbitant amount of food waste. So these, this is kind of why our grocery budget was a little bit higher. Um, I wanted to ask you guys, do you remember your family's grocery budget at all? You may not even remember. Now my grocery budget's a little bit higher than what my family's was. 
but I, you know, I just think it's kind of interesting to look back on habits of our families to see what we can learn about these habits and how they can help us in our own current budget. So let me know what you guys think. I have two things to tell you before signing off. I just found a YouTube channel. His name is Eaton Bernath Shorts. I'm going to link him below. He basically does videos that are like three minutes or less, and he does these really quick recipes. He is phenomenal, and he's super entertaining and fun, and he tells you how to make certain things that I didn't know how to make. I'm going to link him below. I think you're going to really like him a lot. Let him know Money Mom sent you. He could definitely use some love to his channel. His channel is way underrated. And also, one last thing. Come back tonight because I'm going to show you all my batch cooking and meal plan, and you're going to be surprised at how much I spent for all of it. That's all for now. This is Money Mom signing off, and as always, I love you. Bye-bye.